Uh, and like I said, mom, uh, momentum's high right now. Rub coming off a big win. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's got us all chomping at the bit to get back in there. Right, get you pumped up, right? Yeah. You don't have to watch that. <laughs> After seeing that, it's tough. You yeah, front row seat, awesome. you get the really itch. Good. Yeah, we had, a, we had a party here that night that watching. Was, we had, what, maybe 20, 25 people up here. You know, watch, watched you kick some ass. So yeah, that, was, that was fun. That was cool. It was a good night. It was a good How'd night. that feel? I remember last time you and you were talking about, you know, smell the gloves, the lights when you're going down, getting ready to get in the ring. I felt all that, plus... <laughs> But I got to do it for five rounds, so it was, yeah. uh, it was fun. It was fun. It was uh, it was nice to kind of uh, see him kind of like stop. It was yeah. Like, well, like, he just stopped. Like he wasn't like not necessarily stopped, but like, he quit. But like he wasn't coming for it. Like I thought he would. He was on the back foot the whole time. Yeah. I was like it was. All right, we're doing something, right? So we just keep doing it. And we just step, kept the pressure on him. And then, when did you sense that in the fight that he was kind of backing off? He was. Like mid second round. Yeah, think. right. Yeah. So pretty yeah, early. I was like, well, right, you still got a couple more rounds, and he just, just kind of like turned into a different fighter. And I was like, all right, let's go. Yeah. And I just picked it up and just yeah. kept picking it up and got to the third round. I've been in a three round fight before, then when I finally got to the fourth round. I was like, I'm just getting started. I just picked right. it up a little more. And then he was a little close on the fifth round, but after that, it was all right. It, just, it was kind of like, all right, let's see how much we can push here without overdoing it and without right. getting caught with something big. But there was times where I just wanted to do more, but I just stopped. But what do you I mean, like, w when you say, you know, like staying, like, so, like, like you, if you, like, watch the fight again, you hear Tyson um, calling to either be um, in a certain range. So we have, like, an A range, a B range, or a C range. And he, he wanted me to stay out in C range a lot, right? And distance you're talking? As, as far as distance, yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, and then, like, but that B range is where, like, big knockouts happen. So it's right. kind of like you want to be in there, but you, with a guy like Cody, it's, it's tough because you want to be there too long. So the smart plays always stay on the outside. Right, pick it could be one good punch and you're knocked out. Exactly. So it's kind of like, and that could have happened first round or the fifth round. So right. it's kind of like we're walking that tightrope the whole time. And it was like, I'm, I know I'm winning the fight, but if I stay here a little longer, maybe something big happens, but maybe I get knocked out. So it was more about being, dis being real disciplined, just not be there as long. And, you know, I think I showed that part. It was cool, but it was just still like, ah, we just stayed there a little longer and see what could have happened. But that could have, that could have went, that could have went left real quick. But That's gotta be tough because you're trying to like, you know, you're fighting. You're yeah. in the middle of a fucking fight, yeah. and meanwhile you're thinking the whole time too. You know what I mean? Like, like all right, distance this way. I want to come in, but not too far in. Yeah. So that has got to, I mean, a lot of people I think don't don't think of it that way. I know. I wouldn't have, you know what I mean, I'm talking to you guys here, that that much thought is going into each second of, of the fight. Meanwhile, you're trying to just protect your face from getting blasted with, uh, a, with a punch. Yeah. You know? People just see the tip of the iceberg in, in yeah. the game. Yeah. Man, there's levels, definitely. It was fun. It was, um, you know, I had fun out there. I can hear, like, I, I, it was a lot of, like, like, I knew who was winning just by hearing his corner, yeah. like how they turned it from, instead of giving him great instruction they were just like cheering them on like trying to motivate him right trying of, like, to pump them back up get him yeah they're trying to like, hey you can you can do this like you can really you can, you can take a win it was like yeah. instead of giving them clear advice and it was like, all right so we, we got him and then the way he kept backing up was like right, you just got to be smart so that doing the whole five rounds for the first time uh, well that's the first time you've gone first time going five rounds yeah. like that um, that'd be fucking exhausting oh no? great i got some body shots in there um you know got the got the again like it was perfect because we literally called it like he called it exactly how we we're gonna do it and make it was just gonna basically be off the jab and everything else came off the jab and it just worked out perfect like and just as like, without having to finish but everything else like to, that's how you you win the fight you know right. like I feel like I could have went in there and got reckless and and, and and got risky and tried to look out for that crazy knockout get the bonus and all that and that's cool but I feel like I showed a lot more maturity this one just like all right that's cool and all that but right put that to the side and win the fight and say so bonus what you got a bonus for a knockout for uh well if it, this is a sort of a performance uh performance of the night and a, and a knockout of the night bonus and all oh, right yeah like, so like that's always in the back of your mind like if you like, like sure. let me try to get this guy out as soon as possible and like extra 50k it's a 50 50k oh, okay. uh, my bad so yeah there's an extra 50k if you if you you know you get that bonus and but at the same time but by going for it you might you might you lose, knock out. You might you lose your win money you right, right. So it's kind of like you lose more than you get yeah but um so yeah, I mean, I think you know we showed discipline. We we showed like, uh, you know, like I do have the best jab in, in the MMA. So it was kind of like just go out there and, and put it out there. And like, there's there's never there hasn't been a, a fighter out there that 
touched him that many times awesome. in a fight. And it was like, all right, perfect. Like just then he's kind of like reassured, like I can do this to him. Like oh, the rest of these guys, they fucked, man. Like I'm doing, <laughs> I'm gonna keep repeating the process over and over and over. So yeah. it's kind of like I'm excited for the next one. I'm like, super excited for the next one because not only that, like, like like this kid, he was fast. He yeah, was real he, fast, yeah, was. and it was kind of like once I figured out the range of my footwork, I was like, he's fast, he can hit hard, but I have him where I need him and just kept touching him with the jab and coming off of that. But yeah, I'm excited for the next That's awesome. one. That's awesome. You, you, you said something that made me think. So you said, we'll do the, look at this guy. Got your oh, oh, great coach, but he <laughs> helps you with lint on the shoulder. He's, he's many, uh, many, many guy. Guy. <laughs> um, No, so you said, you know, do, do the same thing, right? So you get the jab down, super fast jab. You know, you, you really figured it out in that fight. What do you guys think about like, you know, going to the next fights, right? If you do this, if you have the same game plan, Right? Is it one of those things where you just know you're so good at that and you have confidence in that that you can essentially say, I'm doing the same fucking thing again and the competition can know it and still still get beat? I think it's like two things. It's like, yeah, you could you could just have an ego and do that and just say, Hey, we're gonna go in, like good luck beating our jab. But right. That's that what opens I'm saying. you up because they're gonna have a plan for that. That's we, every time we right. go in we, we we kind of have an idea of what their plan for the jab is going to be. Yep. Um, and then we figure out how to like pull that out and okay. then counter that and then get back to our jab. So we're kind of like, they're going to spend eight weeks planning for like, all right, well, Rob jabs, we're going to do this. And then we go out and we don't, we don't jab right away. And then we faint the jab, we pull out that counter and then we counter their counter. And then now he just spent eight weeks doing something that we're not letting him play. Yep. And he's like, well, what do I do? And next thing you know, we're just jabbing his face off. And then he's frustrated and forgets what his original plan was. And then, like Rob said, then his coaches are like, go, oh, you can do this. Great. Like, <laughs> and um, there's just different ways. Like, you know, when we fought Ricardo Lamas, Calvin yep. has an amazing jab, too. Yeah. And we knew that he comes from a good camp. They'd have a plan for it. And uh, we said, well, listen, we're just keep fainting the jab early. Don't even do it. Like, just keep fainting the jab, pull out his counter. And we did the same thing with Cody. And within, I would say, within the first 15, 20 seconds, we knew what their plan was for our jab. Really? It was going to be leg kick or wait for us to, they call it trailing, trail out to his power. Okay. And then they were going to wait for us to come and step in with a big overhand right. So right away, me and Jake, we figured out what their counter was to our jab. Yep. And then we just played into that. So then we made an adjustment. And, and then once you take that away, they kind of like, oh, shit, this kid is really long. He does really have a good jab. Don't get hit by it. And then now all of a sudden, Back they're backing up. And then when they do decide to go, it's he can it's like slow motion to him. Like he sees this big wind up coming. See it. And you just come and it's like you're you're in the matrix kind of and um but that all comes with just being prepared for the fight and you know, at the end of the day it's him and Cody that's in there, but I'm not freaking out like Mark Henry is the, his coach and he's supposedly the best strategist in MMA and yep. he gets all these accolades and stuff and I really felt like we went in there more prepared with a better plan. And even though we were winning every round, because you'll notice like after rounds, the cameras will always go to the side that's losing to right. see what adjustments they're making. So we didn't get a lot of camera time that, no, in that fight because, because we were winning. Yeah. So, um, but I felt like hearing their adjustments and then knowing the adjustments that we were making, even when we were winning, I felt like we 100% we outcoached them. We, we came in more prepared, we outcoached them. And I think that's a big feather in his cap. And I feel like it was a big feather in our it team. Was, yeah, it felt like they didn't believe. They're like, there's no way. And I'm like, oh, wait, you trap. Like, it was like they didn't really believe that, like, stating that we're going to out jab you. Right. Is going to be something. Like, oh, yeah, everybody hits by a jab. You're going to take it serious like, next time. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, so, you know, <laughs> it was, I felt like, I, I felt like, I'm like, wait, oh, wait, that's different. Like, it felt different every time I touched them. But, you know, and he's an experienced boxer. You know, he has a lot more, way more experience. Thirty-one than boxing, and one is you know, an amateur like, boxer. Oh no shit! So like, so he's like, he's been hearing, oh, I'm gonna help jab you for since he was young. So it's kind right. of like to see, but then to feel it and and, and to deal with it with a four ounce glove. With a four ounce glove, yeah, that's it's a whole different, a whole game, different ball game. And then now you're adding everything else to it. It's like, it's it's. And it's so basic. That's what makes it worse. It's like it's right. so basic. It's so basic. And every time, they're like, fuck, by fuck, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> every single time is another one. It's advanced basics, though. <laughs> it, it's it's <laughs> Rob's got a, another level with the basics. You know, it's it's it, it's it's something to no, that to speed? say. What's, what's just in mean, his movement? You know, he's yeah. got great movement. The way he he, he uh, faints a lot. It's tough to get a beat on it. You never know when it's coming, and um, you know. It's tough to stop. You think that everyone's got the same jab. You talk about a jab. Not everyone's jab's the same, right. you know, and, and his setups, he's really good with it. So, um, 
But I think it's other. Yeah, it's obviously sounds basic. Sounds, sounds basic. basic. Yeah, so he's just hit him with the jab. But if you, <laughs> like, man, you want to talk, you talk about like the tip of the iceberg. That's just one punch, and that's the tip of the iceberg with just that one strike. But, right. You know what I mean? We're not even talking the rest of the fight or the sure. rest. Of, it was just off that one. You know. Move yeah, that you're watching the whole difference in the fight. Like video on Rob, like, all right, like, let's let's try to take his jab away. It's like, let's counter his jab. All right, you counter his okay. jab, but he feints the jab. He's knocking yeah. out the knee. Yeah, he's coming with a head more. kick. He's, he's, yeah. He can wrestle. He's coming with that big right hand. You look what he did to Thomas Almeida, fake the jab, and then hit him with a big right hand, yeah. and then he's, you know, and then he finishes him with a, a high kick. Like, it's it's kind of like phase one is the jab, and if you can't get past that, we're going to stay in phase one. You right, know? And, right, because that's working. Just, yeah, it's working, but you get past phase one, you think, and you know, he's got he's got other levels and other things behind it, but uh, and, I, and we wanted to all see it too but he stayed on the gas uh, smartly in the fifth didn't force it because you can't force a knockout like he's saying sometimes you make a mistake like that and he, he stayed sharp but he also didn't like lay off the gas which some guys will do and, and now you allow the guy like he said he had him on his back foot the whole whole fifth round but if he kind of let off maybe he got on his front foot and push the pace a little, so we're all kind of a proud way. Stayed on the gas. Well, like and, backing and off, and the, feeling overconfident. No, you're up four rounds. Why, why do you got to move just forward? Just run around. Yeah, just oh, move around. Don't dance get hit. around. Right. But then you got this guy feeling that's aggressive. Still, He's that's taking so a fun to watch. Yeah. You know, and then but you get that too. <laughs> yeah, he just, you, know what I'm it's kinda, you get that too. And everybody knows you're like, oh, all right, he won. But yeah, <laughs> I know. But at the end of the day, man, we get we get on the next one. Yeah, you get the knockout on the next one. You gotta like do it without like in a fun way. You know, right, right.